Our top story tonight, the city of Spokane is planning to make changes to several South Hill intersections to help ease traffic and to prepare for the next 20 years of growth. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk shows us what's now being considered. South Hill drivers know just how crowded Regal Street can get, especially in the morning and evening. There's shopping centers, restaurants, schools and apartments all along here. Now the city of Spokane believes there's a way to encourage drivers to use a different route. That solution may involve building a roundabout at 37th and Ray, a main arterial connecting the South Hill to Interstate 90. The city believes drivers would exit Regal sooner if traffic along 37th improved. The roundabout would replace what's now a four-way stop at the entrance of Ferris High School and right outside Kelsey Asher's front door. It's news to me, for sure. Uh, it would, it would, I mean, obviously we wouldn't be here if that happened. That's because the roundabout would run right through her living room. I don't, I don't know if it would be, to be honest, I don't think it would really help. Two or three homes would have to be demolished to make room. Kelsey and her neighbor both rent homes that are owned by the city. I deal with things as they come. I'm not going to make it the end all, but uh, kind of a surprise, you know. Roundabouts are becoming more common around Spokane as the population booms. Spokane Public Schools told the city it's interested in adding a roundabout outside Ferris, but also concerned as to how well new drivers would be able to navigate it and yield to pedestrians. A report to the city suggests an educational program targeted towards students. In addition to the roundabout, the city is also interested in installing a traffic light two blocks east at 37th and Freya, another major arterial. The proposal will be added to the City of Spokane's 20-year street projects list. It's unclear when construction would begin. Reporting on the South Hill tonight, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.